Hey student, I am Teacher Pricks and I'm going to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. Well, well, different time today. I'm starting a bit earlier because, well, I have something to do later, but I wanted to be here tonight. Well, it's almost tonight. It's 5.30 for me, it's still afternoon. <laughs> early evening but thank you so much for watching this lesson if it's your first time here well consider subscribing because every week i bring something new to help you on your journey to fluency so that you can talk to anyone anywhere anytime in english and today we are going to talk about mistakes that block your english fluency and when i say the word mistakes a student's immediate reaction is usually the oh grammar mistakes or vocabulary mistakes but what i'm going to focus on in today's lesson is a little bit different okay i'm going to be talking about some strategies that a students follow especially when they are alone that could block their fluency if you don't have any guidance, if you don't follow any plan, if you don't follow any online course like mine, if you're alone and you don't have anyone to guide you, you will easily make this mistake, okay? Now, as usual, make sure to tell me where you're from. I would love to know, okay? And is it your first time? I, we have some hashtags here, okay? If you're watching me for the first time live, you don't know me so well. Oh, hello there. Nice to meet you. You are a newbie. But, teacher, I know you. Girl, know you, I know you. Then you are a regular. And if you are a student in my academy, you are a BSA. Okay, so we have students from Italy, from Mallorca, from Brazil. Okay, Anita is from Italy. That's nice. I have many students in my academy who are from Italy. From Italy, Brazil, um, Mexico, Japan. Students who live in Canada, but are not Canadian. But they live in Canada, immigrants. Okay, Fernando, it's your first time. So you have a hashtag, my friend. You are a newbie. That's your hashtag, okay? Uh, Morocco, okay. Let's see, Nigeria. Hillary is a BSA. Oh, hello. That's awesome. Awesome. Very nice, guys. So we're going to talk about mistakes that block your journey. Letizia, Estonia, living in Estonia right now. Okay. Now, guys, let's talk about stuff. Okay. Mistakes that block your English fluency. And I'm going to give you examples. I'm going to explain. Uh, this is very important, especially if you're studying alone. For my students in my academy, pay attention, okay? And remember, babies, students of mine, you have me. You can ask me questions. You can participate. So don't miss this chance. <laughs> now, guys, the first one, lack of micro goals, okay? That's the first mistake. I'm going to show here a little bit larger the entire screen right now you cannot see me here on youtube people here on instagram you can see me but come to youtube if you want to see these slides okay joby from rondonia come to youtube it's easier now guys lack of micro goals and i recommend to take a screenshot so that you can save this information okay now this is a common mistake students who are completely alone make okay the students who are alone they don't have micro goals they don't establish micro goals so as you can see here on the screen i imagine your goal is fluency this is where you want to go and if you are watching this lesson it means you are not a total beginner anymore you are not a complete beginner because i'm speaking in english you need to understand a little but just because you understand me doesn't make you advanced, uh-uh. Doesn't make you a super strong intermediate, mm, mm You can understand me. And I am a professional here, okay? Um, I am working really hard to make you understand me. So this is the thing. If students want to get to the big goal, but they don't have micro goals. They don't have an organized plan to get to the bigger goal. And then what happens? They get frustrated. They want to watch the movie and feel good, understand everything. 
but they don't have micro goals to get to the movie. They want to speak. Loser, I'm going to delete your comment because I want comments in English. This is an English lesson. Okay, English, English, okay? So students want to get to communication. They want to they want to speak, let's say a job interview. You shouldn't want to speak confidently at a job interview and be amazing, but they don't have micro practices, smaller goals that will help them get ready for the job interview. And then they don't feel confident. They don't know how to do it because they lack a plan. They don't organize their, they, they don't break down their goals into smaller goals. And if you're making this mistake right now, especially if you are alone, it'll be more difficult for you to get to your bigger goal. Let me show this again so that you can remember this. So look at where you are. Not a beginner anymore, but you are on the journey. You want to get to fluency, but you don't establish weekly micro goals. So to get to the big goal, you need to break your goals down. And the best way for you to do that is to follow an organized plan with shorter and efficient activities that will help you get to where you want. Okay. Many students come to me, they join my academy and they say, teacher, I want to speak fluently. I want to travel and I want to travel and I want to speak to people in English, you know, but I don't have anyone to practice. I'm alone. Is, does that happen to you? Teacher, I don't have anyone to practice. Does that happen to you? Hashtag yes, hashtag no. And then what happens to those students? They never practice their English speaking because they think, well, but I don't have anyone. So it, it's not possible for me. So they don't break down their goals and the opportunity to speak never comes. They don't have a routine that will make them speak in English, even if they are alone. Just today I was studying, I studied Italian and then English and I had to practice my English speaking. I had to practice my Italian speaking, even though I am alone. Why? Because I'm breaking down my goals. So with a student that needs to have an interview in English, if you want to feel confident, answer a question per day. Answer one question per day about your job. I, I am 100% sure that if I asked you right now, let's go, tell me about your job, tell me about your weaknesses, tell me about a successful case of yours, you would not be able to do it. Many students... Who, who answered yes, you don't practice that. You don't break down your goal. Uh, why? Because you are expecting someone to be there to talk to you, so you never practice. So what happens? You never build your speaking muscle. You never build that because you don't take the time to treat your speaking as a skill. Oh, but teacher, uh, let's see, I want to be able to talk about my work. Okay, maybe you want to talk about your work. Well, every day, practice for five minutes in front of a mirror describing your job activities. Again, based on my experience, I talk to many people. I look at them in the eye, and that's my first question when, they, they, when I have business students. Okay, tell me about, tell me about your work. And they never practiced doing that alone. And now that I'm making them do it, they have no idea. They're like, I don't know, oh, but it's your job. So you see, guys, break down your goals. Break down your goals. You want to understand movies? Break down your listening exercise routine. That will help you get better, okay? And this is what I see students not doing. Okay, and it's based on my experience. I have more than what, 16, 17 years of experience. I have worked with the most unusual cases of students, young, old, very, very young, very, very, very old. <laughs> and there are similar problems there, okay? 
Now, here are some examples I posted here. What are your vocabulary goals? Okay. Oh, I want to remember all the words. It's a very big goal. Oh, I want to know everything when I start speaking. That's a very big and general goal. But let me give you an example. Today, I was studying about computer vocabulary in Italian. So we learned like five new words that I wasn't familiar with, okay? Then what did I do? Well, it's a smaller go. I was talking about technology. And then I connected the conversation about technology with the new words that I had learned. Now, is this going to make me the most uh, awesome, best English speaker or Italian speaker? No, but it's a smaller go to help me get to the bigger goal. And this is what students don't pay attention. What I have been posting on Instagram every day, I'm starting to be, I'm, I'm working on being consistent with my Instagram is consistency wins a little bit every day. But when students come to me with their vocabulary, they are disorganized with their routine. They want to learn a lot of words, but then they don't give me examples of words they're learning based on situations, based on conversations. So this is a problem of organization, of breaking down your goals so that you can stay strong on your journey to fluency. If you don't organize that, if you keep making this mistake, you will stop many, many, many times. You will give up. And I'm sorry to break it to you, I've seen people do this. The best way is to organize your goals into smaller ones, weekly ones, and be consistent with that. That's how you're going to get better, okay? Now, the second one, the wrong environment, okay? The wrong environment. Can you see the picture here? Let me see if I get the bigger picture. What's wrong here? What's wrong with this picture? People on YouTube, what's wrong with this picture? Let's see if you can identify. People on YouTube, tell me. What is wrong with this picture? Wrong environment. If you can understand the picture, right? Some people will not understand the picture at first. You need a few seconds to, mm, okay, I understand this now. <laughs> Let's see. What do you think is wrong with this picture? Time to answer. I forget there's a delay. There's like a 35 second delay and I, I can't, I have to wait. The time, the book, a lot of people, noise, it's a subway or a train. Yes, okay, too busy, not quiet. Someone is reading, but reading, reading uh, you know, on the subway. And you know, some students come to me and they are very proud teacher. I listen to podcasts every day for one hour on my way to work. And I'm like, well, nice gesture, but wrong place, wrong time. You can't focus. You are in the wrong environment. And I am sorry, students. I am so sorry to be so honest because the world is going to give you the opposite. The world is going to say, yeah, yo, use the time you are in the car. Use the time you are on the bus when you're running at the gym to do something productive, to do something with your time, listen to podcasts, download the audio books for you to listen, and that's how you are going to get better. But you don't. And then what happens? I come here and I, I try. I try to say, you know. 
<laughs> I, I go against the, what, what people are saying. I, I go in the opposite direction. It doesn't work, especially if you're trying to improve, if you're trying to learn another language. Do you remember when you went to school? Do you remember when you went to school? High school, traditional school, not English school. Do you remember? Hashtag yes, hashtag no. Tell me if you remember when you went to school. People on Instagram, do you remember when you had to go to school, you know, with your backpack, with your cool sunglasses, the girls with their ponytails? <laughs> tell me, tell me. I want to know if you guys remember. Do you remember the time you went to school? I messed up my hair. You know, I want to know if you guys remember. Hashtag yes, hashtag no. Fernando says yes. Oscar says yes, Azevedo, okay, you remember, right? Let's see. Marli says yes, Betania, yes, okay, nice. And what was very specific about that moment? Ricardo, yes, okay, Natalia, Hillary, you had to focus. The teacher would look at you if you were talking to your friends why she was giving an explanation and the teacher would be like Shh, pay attention take notes huh take notes study listen look at me i'm not saying that i agree with everything in the traditional school but there is one important element environment okay the right place, an appropriate environment for you to study, for you to work on improving yourself. That's what I'm talking about. And even though society today will tell you that you should multitask and listen and go to work, you know, driving and listen to some podcasts, you will not retain information. And if you want to improve, you are not being active with the information you learn. And this is the point people are misunderstanding today. And as a result, they don't get better. So let me get to the next slide here. So there are a few important things we need to consider. Key factors here. Comfort. According to a, a lecture specialist at Race Furniture, it's a, um, a website I was reading, when you are comfortable, you will stay focused and motivated for longer, for more time. So imagine you are on the subway listening to a podcast, people pushing you, you know, noise, attention, next stop. No, it's too much. Or maybe you're driving. Maybe you're driving and you have to pay attention to traffic, traffic lines, the traffic lights, excuse me, pedestrians, other cars, and you're listening to a podcast. It doesn't work. You're not comfortable. Lighting, natural light, okay? The, the best light is natural light. It helps you improve your mood, boosts your mood, and reduces stress, you know, that feeling of anxiety and stress. But if you are on the subway, my friend, no artificial lighting. And again, maybe not even good lighting, okay? <laughs> Color, okay? When you are studying at home, you can use resources. I love to use highlighters, you know, like markers why because i like to use colors i like to activate my visual channel it's important i talk about a lot i talk about that a lot with my students in my academy noise if there is a lot of noise around you it is difficult to pay attention to relax to expand your creativity guys if you are on the journey to fluency alone and you want to improve, you want to maximize your results, you gotta, okay? You gotta start paying attention to your environment. 
That's why I always tell students here who follow me on my channel, on my social media, it is so important to be in a good program, study in a good online course, so that you have this kind of guidance. So don't combine two things at the same time, okay? Be very careful. And another thing, clutter. Do you know the word clutter? Tell me here in the chat, clutter. Clutter, let's see. Hashtag yes, hashtag no. I wanna know, eee! I typed incorrectly. Hashtag yes, hashtag no, the word clutter. Do you know the word clutter, tell me. I'm giving you a few seconds to tell me if yes, if no. Do you know the word clutter? C-L-U-T-T-E-R. Ah, I practice spelling. Sometimes the students look at me and say, oh, you spell things so fast. I practiced a lot, okay? Agnes, I forgot to share the, the, the link on my Instagram today. But if you come to YouTube and you type teacher, pricks, P-R-I-X, you will find me very quickly, okay? Okay, so if you have a tip for you, if you want to spell fast, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Practice. Practice every day aloud, okay? Aloud. And you see, with time, you're going to get really good at this, okay? Uh, let me show you a nice picture of clutter. Uh, okay, maybe this one. Oh, this one is good. Okay, I'm going to save this. And then I'll show you, okay? I'm going to get visual. Let's get visual. Now... One second, the picture may be a little too big. I will have to reduce the size. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. One second, I need to change this. Okay. Now, clutter. Do you see the picture here? What is wrong with this bedroom? Tell me, what is wrong with this bedroom? I want to know. What's wrong with this bedroom? Uh, I want to know what is wrong with this bedroom. My God. <gasps> I want to know what's wrong. Try to explain to me. It's messy. It's a total mess. Oh my God. This is awful. It is so bad. Okay. Uh, lots of mess. It's a big mess. So you see, guys, I'm showing you that you don't need translation to understand words in English. Ah, hello, hello. Ah, this is very interesting. You don't need translation to learn new words in English. This is so cool. I feel proud of you guys. Let me do something here to fix something. Let me go back to the slide that was before. Uh, ba -da -da -ba. One second. Da -da. Okay. So clutter is when there are lots of objects, lots of things in a very messy way. Okay. A lot of objects, a lot of things in a messy way, in a disorganized way. That's clutter. So you understood. It is a bit, it's your daughter's room. Oh my God. Okay. So clutter is a noun, a lot of objects in a messy, disorganized way, dirty, you know, really bad. So clutter also shows that Research also shows that it's easier to stay focused and motivated when your space is clean and organized. Now, I don't know about you, where you live, but here, I love Brazil, okay, very, very much. But depending on the bus you take, depending on the subway you take, it's not clean, not, not nice. Okay, not very nice. 
depending on the Uber car you get in. <laughs> so what is my point? There's no place like home, okay? There's no place like home. One thing that I tell my students in my academy is find a nice place in your house to study. Organize your environment, okay? Have the necessary tools like Everaldo, BSA, awesome to have you here. So organize your environment. It is so important to find the right place. Believe me, this is going to make such a big change. It is going to impact your results in, in such a positive way. Organization is key, okay? I remember that when I was a teenager, I wanted to study and I would study on my bed. And every time I studied on my bed, I would fall asleep. <laughs> I would fall asleep. So then I asked my dad to make me a, a desk, a simple desk for me to study. And he did. And it changed the game. I didn't feel sleepy anymore. <laughs> Why? Environment. I'm telling you, my friends, when you change the environment, things change, okay? You know what I like doing when I am studying? I don't like noise, but I sometimes listen to background noise. I love listening to classical music. Hi, Angela. Miss you, girl. How is your baby girl? Not such a baby girl anymore, right? I imagine she's what? Five? Six? Oh my God, I, I feel old now. <laughs> Guys, I love listening to classical music while I'm studying. Very, very soft. Okay, very soft classical music. Why? Because science shows that classical music helps you learn specific, not all, okay? But specific classical music uh, songs will help you improve, okay? So these are all small changes, especially if you're alone, especially if you're not in my academy, if you're not my baby yet, if you're not my BSA, my baby sardine in the area. You need to be careful. And even if you are my baby, if you are my student, my BSA, be careful about your environment. Okay, sardines. My students, I call my students sardines, okay? Because sardines are all over the world. And we stay together. <laughs> now, my friends, speaking of which, before I move on, let me see here, before I move on to the next mistake, I want to invite you to my next workshop, okay? This workshop will be private, not for everybody, okay? People on Instagram, the link is in my bio. You can check it out. It's a listening mastery workshop, and you are invited. A small fee. There is a limited number of people who will participate. It will happen via Zoom. It will not be on YouTube. It will not be on Facebook. It will be via Zoom. Only the students who register and, and participate will be able to join this Listening Mastery Workshop. It is going to happen on December 1st. So you still have time, but because the positions are limited, I recommend you join as fast as you can. And in this workshop, we are going to work on mastering your listening. I'm going to show you everything you need to do. We are going to work together. Because one thing that I cannot do here on YouTube, I can't bring certain audio files. Short movie scenes, I can't. Interviews, I can't. So it is very difficult for me to implement certain strategies here on YouTube because I can't. But on Zoom... I can. <laughs> so the fee to participate in Brazilian reais is 97 Brazilian reais. Okay, guys, that's the fee. If you are from the United States or from another country, I think if you convert to dollars, that would be about uh, $20, $22, $25. Okay. Okay. So if you want to participate, you are going to enjoy it. We're gonna, I'm going to show you some mistakes you make. I'm going to talk about listening mistakes you shouldn't make that stop them from improving. Then we're going to practice 
because you got to practice if you want to get better. We're going to practice together during this workshop. And after the workshop is over, you're going to get a seven day listening plan. Uh, it's a bonus, a homework for you to keep practicing the ideas that I'm going to teach you in, uh, in this workshop. Okay. So make sure to join. Many students have already joined. It'll be fun. Okay. It'll be very fun. I'm very excited about it. The link is here. Um, in the chat, in the description of the video, it'll be very nice. But moving on, oopsie days. Let's go to the next one. Oh, the next one is tough. The next one is 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 tough. Okay, guys. Number three is always going to happen to you, and you have to be careful. Okay. Number three is not believing in yourself. And this is much more about mindset than about English, but it's important. I need to explain this to you. I need to mention this and talk to, to you about this. And what is the problem with the, the, the third mistake? Not believing in yourself. This is psychology. This is emotion. Okay. This is emotional intelligence. And here's the thing. You could have all the money in the world. You could travel abroad. You could have the best private teacher. You could go to Harvard like I did. I went to Harvard. If you don't believe that you can improve, you will not. You will be stuck. You will not get better. And this is serious. Very serious. Many people don't talk about this. Okay. We got to work on emotions. Otherwise, you don't get better. I could come here and I could give you all the information you need to master your English. If you don't work on your emotions, if you don't start believing in yourself, you don't get better. You can go to Harvard. You will not get better. You can go to Canada, study in a school in Canada. Not going to get better. You could have a private teacher. Some people, some people think that only if they have a private teacher, they will get better. And you don't know this, but I help many students in my academy, many, many, who had private teachers and didn't get better. It's method. You need to change the method and you need to change your mindset. Okay? If you don't change these two guys, you could spend all the money in the world. You will not change. Okay? And this is something that I will insist with you guys if you want to improve. It's not only about language, only about rules and words and listening. We, we also have to work on the mind. Because your mind, your internal belief system will impact your results. Okay? And here, I think I, don't, I, I was going to say something I forgot. Let me see here if I, if I see my slide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes. But teacher, how do I start believing in myself? How do I believe in myself, teacher? Teacher Briggs, give me a hand. Show me the light at the end of the tunnel. Yo. <laughs> Guys, there are things you can do in your study practice that will help you. Okay. And let me show you. Oh, no, I have to change here the slide. Guys, if you want to start believing in yourself, you need to start having small victories. Unfortunately, we are humans. <laughs> or fortunately, I think it's good. I, I like to be a human. You know, I don't know if I would be happy as a puppy or as a fish, even though I call you guys BSA. <laughs> but the best way to motivate yourself, the best way to start feeling better about yourself is to have Small victories, small victories will gradually change your internal system. Mm, catch that, okay? Type here if you agree, small victories. This will help you remember, okay? Copy paste here, small victories. I want to see how many people will type this here. Small victories, small victories. I want you to type this, small victories. And I will explain small victories, okay? One thing that I do a lot with my students in the academy is you need 
to speak every day or every week. If you don't study every day, it's okay. <laughs> But you need to, to speak every week. And you need to use the words you learn. You need to use the information you study. When you study vocabulary, my babies always learn new words in every module. You need to create examples to me on the platform, okay? And that way, what are you doing? You are having small victories. Why? Because you are showing your brain that you're going from passive to active. Right now, Ana, Zorart, I don't know. <laughs> Eliane, Oscar, Flavia, Veronica, Betania. You are having small victories because you follow, you listen to me and you did it. Small victories, you're paying attention. And now I am complimenting you because you're taking action. So when you said, that's why I go back to the first problem, okay? You gotta take your big go and break down into smaller goals if you want to be successful. Because when you break down your big goals into smaller goals, you have small victories because you start to, to feel the difference. Oh, I learned this and I used it. Oh, wow, I did a good job. Oh, I did this listening activity and I really understood. Oh, okay, I'm getting better. I, I, I really am. Small victory, okay? Small victory. If you go and you watch a two-hour movie with no strategy, it's not a small victory. You're losing. You will show your brain, hmm, you can't do it. But if you take that big go and break it down to a smaller one to help you get ready for this bigger go, then you will begin to feel more motivated. You will start to believe in your ability to improve. And that's a small victory. So today, when I learned six, uh, six new words about computer, I started to explain them to myself. Then I watched a short video about technology and I was able to explain, I was able to understand. I took notes, then I compared with the subtitles, then I explained it to myself and that was my small victory for the day. And this is what students don't understand. They listen to something and they're like, oh, I study it. Did you? really study and because of that you don't have small victories you don't celebrate small victories you are waiting for the day when you're going to be totally completely fluent but what happens until that day comes if you don't celebrate the small victories if you don't learn to recognize you're getting better Every time students come to me and they tell me about their English, they tell me, oh, but I suck. Oh, but this is so bad. They never celebrate the small victories. Oh, but you know, I'm getting better at this, teacher. Oh, but I did this. Today I talked to a student and she said, oh, but I, I, I checked the vocabulary and then it was easier to, to do the reading activity. Oh, that's good. That's a small victory. Not so small, actually. It's actually a big victory. So if you don't pay attention to your goals, to your routine, if you don't have one, it'll be very difficult to celebrate victories. And if you never celebrate, if you never recognize that you are getting better, you will never believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, you will lose motivation, you will feel frustrated, you will not want to continue. It's like, ah, oh, oh, it's so, so, I don't know, I can't. You know, I don't know. Many people are afraid of joining my academy because they think it's going to be too difficult. <gasps> oh, it's in English. 100%? No, I can't. I'm a beginner. But I created the program. I organized the modules. I thought of the strategy. And I help my students recognize the small victories every week in every module. Okay? Exactly, Eliane, it's not a miracle, it's a process. I'm a person of process, okay? That's very important. And that's what I teach my students in my program. If at all, I started with the small victories. I celebrated all of them. Very, very important. And if you, if you make these three mistakes, guys, I'm, it doesn't matter. You could have a private teacher. One thing that I did a lot when I had many private students was 
I started to pay attention to their behavior. And many times, even though they had me as a private teacher, they would be like, no, but I can't. I'm not good. I can't get better. So I started working on their mindset. Hey, you're learning. You're getting better. You do this now. You can understand this now. Now we speak 100% in English. I remember I had one particular case. This student started with me from zero. Nothing. He didn't know anything. He was Brazilian. So I started the lessons in Portuguese with him because this was a 100% case. And in seven months, I repeat from zero, in seven months, no more Portuguese. No more. Everything we did was in English. And then one day, he looks at me and says, Teacher, I'm not good. I don't know what's happening to me. And I was like, dude, seven months ago, you did nothing. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> and then, oh, it's true. It's true. I'm better. You are right. I'm sorry. And I was like, small victories, guys, small victories. We need to start paying attention. You are not the same person as you were yesterday. You're different. So you got to start celebrating. I cannot emphasize how important it is to follow a good methodology to learn a language. Otherwise, you will stay lost. You will keep trying and trying and trying. But in my bio, people on Instagram, the link's there. Make sure to participate. The positions are limited. I am starting to talk about this now. The workshop will be on December 1st. But as soon as I get to the number, because I have a limit, it's via Zoom, okay? It's not on YouTube, okay? So as soon as I get to the limit, close the doors. Okay. So the link is in my bio, check it out. People on YouTube, same thing. The link is actually here. Okay. Make sure to check it out, participate. It's a limited offer, um, just a small fee, but other than that, I'll see you next time.